Hello everyone! Tony, unfortunately the world around us is not safe. Humankind desperately needs some superheroes. But the problem is that in real life there is no way to get superpowers, learn to fly, or become super strong like the Hulk. Despite this, ordinary people take responsibility, prevent crime, and help society. So today, Tony, you're going to become a real superhero and make everyone proud. Let's start! To begin with, you need a cool costume that would dissuade criminals from committing bad acts. Oh no, Tony! Looking like this, you'll prevent the crime, but only because everyone will be rolling on the floor laughing at you. It works, though. While criminals are laughing, the police will have time to come and arrest everybody. Yeah, that's better. You look very tough and have huge muscles. No, Tony! You can't stuff balloons underneath your clothes and pretend to be a superhero. You really have to be in great physical shape. You have to hit the gym or hire a personal trainer. And you need to work out regularly, at least three times a week, to have big, intimidating muscles. In addition to that, a hero really needs stamina. How will you patrol the neighborhood and catch criminals if you can't even climb one flight of stairs without losing your breath? To increase your endurance, you may try running, walking, cycling, or swimming. Of course, it is just as important to master some martial arts. While you shouldn't be looking to fight or get into trouble on purpose, learning how to defend yourself in difficult situations is something that you should definitely know. By the way, popular self-defense martial arts include Russian Sambo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Krav Maga, which is an Israeli martial art. By the way, active exercise should always be complemented with a healthy and balanced diet. If you eat only fast food and soft drinks, it will be very difficult to keep yourself in good physical and mental condition, which is very important for any superhero. Now let's work on your personality traits. First of all, behave with dignity and honesty. A real superhero must be an example for those around him. You need to respect other people and always stand by what is right. Even if most of the people around you are going to do something not very good, stand your ground and try to prevent it. Second, you have to be courageous. Courage means being ready to put your own well-being on the line for the safety of others. But that does not mean that you have to recklessly run at a perpetrator. First, you have to call the police. Otherwise, you could get yourself in trouble with the law for vigilantism. Not to mention the fact that you could end up getting beaten up. That's it, Tony. You really do look like a superhero. Your physique is good and your thoughts are clear and determined. Now you can patrol the streets and catch some criminals. But probably a police patrol will catch you and send you to the asylum for treatment right away. Yes, friends, ostentatiousness, flashy costumes, and intimidating nicknames like Batman or Iron Man, that is all for comic books. In fact, in real life it is much easier to be a superhero and anyone can do it. Yes, even you. All you have to do is not be indifferent and pay attention to those who need help. It can be a person who is in a difficult situation or a homeless animal. Just stop and take a moment of your time to lend a hand. Help an old lady carry her bags. Help someone who has fallen. Give a few coins to a homeless person. Feed a hungry dog or cat. Never forget that one good deed begets another. Here is a simple example. Let's say you help two people. Then each of them decides to help two others, and they also help someone. And just like that, two good deeds can turn into thousands of other good deeds. Don't say that we are just little people in a big world and can't change anything. We can, friends. We can do anything. We just have to be honest, make good deeds, and then the rest of the world will follow. It seems to me that this is what it means to be a real superhero. Friends, Tony and I are determined to make this world a little kinder and better, but we can't do it without your support. So, are you in? Share your good deeds in the comments to inspire others, and we'll show you the best ones in a future video. See you next week in a new and slightly better world. Bye-bye!